This is Nick Bazin from FilmSnobbery.com. I'm here at the First Glance Film Festival in Hollywood, and I'm here with a very lovely trio of people. Why don't you introduce yourselves? Uh, I'm Raj Reddy. I'm Jesse Draper. I'm Jonathan Palenz. And uh, what are you here with? So we're here with uh, the feature film, No One Will Know. And uh, I directed, and Jesse starred in it, and Jonathan produced it. Awesome. Why don't you tell me a little bit about the, you know, the people here, because the people watching this aren't here. So why don't you go ahead and tell me, uh, tell me a little bit about the flick. Uh, sure. It's uh, you know, it's sort of it's a suspense thriller, and, and um, it's about this young couple who accidentally kills someone, and they hide her body under a rug in their living room right before their engagement party. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. All right. It, it's kind of like a telltale heart thing going on there, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah. A little poetish. I like it. How, what did you do to you know? How did you get involved? Um, you know, I actually helped put the whole thing together. So I found Raj. I put the whole project together. I, uh, Raj found a writer, Logan Lakeham, and um, and Jonathan and Jonathan's my business partner and a great producer. So we, I'm like, this is the little trio right here. Awesome. And uh, so we, well, that, I guess that explains how you got involved. But as a producer, it's such a vague term. What did you do? <laughs> So this is actually a very micro-budget project, and one of the reasons why we were able to pull it off is that somebody was, everybody was so dedicated to the actual process, and everybody from the very beginning was like very excited about the concepts, the story, the film, and then we got to shoot in a beautiful location up in Marin County, and that sort of like made it because we were literally like in the woods, like in the middle of nowhere, all by ourselves, like making a movie, and that's what made this process like so amazing. So it's a, it's a scary movie, and we filmed it in a very scary place, <laughs> we did. too. It was dark all the time. There were, like, crazy animals everywhere, and it was just a really, it was a really fun um, project to work on, and also I think it turned out really well as well. Oh, awesome. And is this your first film festival you've been to with it? Uh, we actually uh, had it up in the Palo Alto Film Festival, like, up North California. It was the first one. Yeah. That's right. I'll forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what made you uh, decide you wanted to actually submit to First Glance? Was it because it was kind of close in the area to you know L.A. or because you heard anything about it previous? Uh, yeah, I mean you know it's a low. I mean uh, I've sort of worked in the industry for a while here in L.A. and um, it's you know kind of around studios that I've, I've worked at and been around. And uh, actually, I want to the producers probably have a little more info on that too, like why they <laughs> selected sort of the local. <laughs> well, sure. So I mean. We're right in the middle, like we're across the street from Paramount Studios right now. You can't get any cooler than pr like having your film screen in a studio like this. And I think that's exactly why you know this is a perfect opportunity for filmmakers to to get their films out there. Awesome. And uh, and in terms of acting, I mean, you got a lot of things pulled together on this. And, you know, why did you decide to also put yourself in it aside from just you know being uh, you know part of the rest of the the pull together? Um, I'm an actress, and I uh, I really wanted to do I, I wanted to produce a movie, and so um, you know Raj and I had been talking about doing this for a long time. We wanted to do a scary movie, and um, I also had never done a scary movie. I was on a Nickelodeon show for a while, and I'm used to doing kids stuff. I was in a dog movie, all these things. I'm like, I need to do a scary movie, <laughs> um, and so we uh, we put it together. And I I just uh, I I've always wanted to do a fun horror movie, basically. Suspense, let me clarify. Yeah. Suspense. She was really good in it, too, so you should see it. I, I hope everyone gets to see it. Yeah. Now, is, about your uh, about the you know your directing style, about how what how you decided to did you pull uh, from any other you know movies that you know other horror movies, suspense movies to kind of prepare you know how you were going to shoot this? Uh, yeah, uh, you know some of my favorite directors are uh, Alfred Hitchcock, uh, David Fincher, Chris Nolan. You know these are modern day. Those two guys are sort of modern day suspense. You know. Uh, thriller, psychological thriller kind of directors, and so I really sort of pulled from their movies and then old Hitchcock movies, uh, and uh, that helped me sort of get an idea of like what you can do with uh, like instead of using a lot of CG and special effects and like gore and horror, we were able to you know use more psychological like mental games and twists with the characters and sort of play off that, and it and it you know it shows in the movie so. That's, that's those are my inspirations. Yeah. Yeah. It actually, um, he he did a really good job of finding. You know, it's very Hitchcock. It's very modern day Hitchcock. And Raj knew exactly how he wanted to shoot the whole thing. And it actually already won a cinematography award, which is very exciting. Oh, congratulations, man! Yeah, awesome.
Yeah. Um, I have a question actually about the, the future of the film. Is it something that, I mean, are you just starting your, your uh, film festival journey now? And, you know, uh, after that, are we, we eyeing distribution? Are we eyeing, you know, what are, what's, what's up? I don't know if the producer's better to ask on this or yourself. I, I do think it's a, it's a producer <laughs> question. <laughs> well, I Mr. Producer. about shot list, but yeah, that's a very business. Yeah, you yeah, can yeah. talk to me about it's shot great. list all you want. It's, it's, it makes for great TV. Yeah, no. yeah, um, right but, so where, where's, uh, you know, how, you're just starting the festival circuit now? Where's, what's next? Sure, so we're actually, the film's just starting the festival circuit, and uh, Jesse Draper and I actually work in Silicon Valley pretty often, so we're very interested in new media and in new forms of distribution, so you can check the film out at noonewillknowmovie.com, that's our website, and uh, hopefully soon we'll have some announcements about where we'll be debuting it, whether it's in an app or in some other cool way, um, but we're definitely looking for some, doing something innovative. We're definitely looking for international distribution as well, we think that it, um, it, it will do very well internationally as well. Yeah, well, most you know horror slash suspense yeah, movies right. typically Everybody do well. Everybody gets scared. It doesn't matter what right. language you speak. <laughs> yeah, it's universal. Absolutely. Well, I want to thank you guys so much for being here, and I want to thank you right on. You know, you're on the red carpet. You're hopefully going to have a great audience for your film tonight, and uh, I want to thank you guys for all you know being here and allowing us to talk to you. Great. Yeah. Thank you Thanks. so much. Thank yeah, you. It's great to be here. Yeah. That's it.